Femi Kuti held a single note on his saxophone for more than 51 minutes, shattering a world record in his second attempt. He broke the record by U.S. jazz artist Kenny G first over one week ago, but fell short of the global record by slightly over one minute. Femi, the son of Afrobeat music icon and activist Fela Kuti, is a music legend in his own right. And this record, he says, should inspire others to test limits and never give up. As Femi Kuti played a single note on his saxophone for 51 minutes and 35 seconds, his fans held their breath in excitement and disbelief. This was the second attempt by the Nigerian artist who took up music from his father, the legendary king of Afrobeat, Fela Kuti. The first time he did it, he only broke the record set in 1997 by American artist Kenny G at 45 minutes 47 seconds, but not the one set by Van Birchfeed at 47 minutes 5.5 seconds in the year 2000. The realization that he had fallen short of the record was heartbreaking for Femi's fans. It says they convinced him to try again. I trained on Friday, on Thursday, on Friday, I couldn't go past 30 minutes. I trained again on Saturday, I couldn't go, I got to 39 minutes. And at stopping at 39 minutes or was like, wow, it's impossible. When I even tried, I bust my lip. So and Sunday was just around the corner. I knew my lip would not heal before Sunday. So I was already very worried. I called everybody that, it's not an it's an impossible feat now, and everybody was like, "We have already promised, blah blah." And my friends insisted that I go on with the with trying, and even if I failed, they shouldn't worry. I still have their love, blah blah blah. On Sunday, May the 14th, at his new African shrine in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. Femi went over 51 minutes. Femi says he learned the skill known as circular breathing, a technique where players breathe through their nose while pushing out air from his father, who taught it using a straw and water. In a series of tweets sent from their Twitter account, Guinness World Record said they rested the category several years ago and that they no longer monitor longest wind instrument notes using the circular breathing technique. Femi reassured his fans saying his attempt was not to break the record but to enhance creativity. They should not be disappointed that the Guinness Book does not recognize the award. It, wasn't, it was never my objective. If it was my, object, if it was my objective, I would have called them to be there. I didn't want them to be there. It was to show the possibility to give, especially young African boys and girls, that even at my age, it is, we're not limited to achieving greatness. And they said to attack me on Femi, who says his father had warned him not to allow talent to get Five into his head because that was not the essence of music, no plays at the African shrine every week to a packed house. Unlike his father, he's also a dedicated activist with a cult following. Now that this is done, Femi says he is back to creating music. <laughs>